Are you looking for a good alternative to those traditional big bulky diaper bags like this one over here? Carrying something this big is cumbersome and trying to keep up with your toddler isn't fun. In this video, I go over why I've decided to switch over to using a fanny pack instead and which brands my wife and I found to be some of the better options out there. As my son grew from an infant to a toddler, I found that many of the items in my diaper bag really weren't used that often anymore. It didn't make sense for me to lug this big bag around for those quick trips to the park or doctor's visit. This is when I started thinking to myself, there has to be an easier way to carry around just the essentials. I found both small backpacks as well as messenger style bags to still be a bit too bulky for my liking. This is when I started looking to belt bags or most would call them fanny packs. Well, to be fair, my wife actually started using them first. And I started to notice when we went on those quick trips, life was much easier when she carried just around her fanny pack and we could leave this large diaper bag at home. All right, oh, let's move this thing out the way real quick. All right, first I'm gonna talk about the fanny packs that my wife uses and likes. Second, the one I'm currently using, which I like. Third, a fanny pack with great diaper features on paper, but just misses the mark. Fourth, and last, I'll discuss what you want to look for in a fanny pack that makes it a good diaper bag. This is the Mina Bay fanny pack that's currently my wife's favorite. It comes in three colors. There's black and gold, black and gunmetal, and oat. It's not only fashionable looking, but also quite functional as a diaper bag. It has a magnetic pocket over here that allows diapers and wipes to be stored. Holds up to five credit cards, plenty of small pockets for chapsticks or lipstick, and most importantly, enough room for anything else you like to bring along, like tissues, keys, and hand sanitizers. There's a back exterior pocket that's a great place for your phone for quick access. As with most fanny packs, you can wear them as a sling, but this one can be worn crossbody as well if you want to change things up a bit. As I personally haven't used this bag before, I might be leaving out some details here and there. So if you have any questions about it, let me know down below in the comment section and I'll ask my wife for answers. Now let's talk about the fanny pack I'm using. Believe it or not, the brand of this is called Dad's Fanny. It's definitely not the most fashionable fanny pack out there, but it's not horrible looking either. There are quite a bit of different colors to pick from. The one I have here is called Stone, um, but it's really just gray. The material does seem to get scratched easily, but I think they might have did that on purpose, so each bag has its own personality. Now to the fun part, let's take a look at all the things that can fit in here. So everything you see here on the table right now fits into this bag. It can probably hold a bit more, but these are the items that I consider essential when I'm out with my son. And just for a heads up, this is not the camera I normally bring around with me. Um, it's actually being used right now to record this. So this is just a placeholder. All right, now let's take a look and see how everything actually fits into this bag. Okay, there's a back pocket right here that I currently am not in use of right now. Um, you can put whatever you want in this back pocket. Um, I guess people, they say you can put like cash or something. However, I haven't been using this pocket at all right now. So I might figure out something else to put in there later. But most importantly, let's talk about the diapers. Um, I usually come around two diapers just in case. They fit right into here. And then I have wipes. I'll get a little bit more on this at the moment because these are just sample wipes I have. And I like putting them in here for now. Once I use them up, I'll have a different solution. And then here, it has a little hook for my keys. Hand sanitizer. Tissue and then the camera. That fits into the main pocket. Okay, and then this front pocket right here is where I put my wallets and the chapstick. There's actually, um, well, actually, let me see if you can see it. There's actually a little spot right here that you can put single credit card for quick access if you want. Um, but since I have a pretty thin wallet, I like leaving it in here and the chapstick. And then last but not least, of course, is your phone. You can just put it in this back pocket right here for quick access. And then now you can put it on. And you might be wondering why I have a water bottle here. Um, that's because you can actually extend it on the bottom here. This is one of my favorite features on here because my son is always constantly drinking water. And this is very good for it. So you can go ahead and just slide it in. And then you would just Hook it right over here. And then you do the same on this side. And then you just tighten it. And there you go. It fits your water bottle in there as well. All right, so yeah, so normally I would just wear it crossbody. That is my 
personal choice of wearing it. However, you can wear it as a fanny pack, which actually comes in very handy whenever I'm out biking with my son and taking him to the local parks. Well, actually one thing I forgot to almost mention is that there's a belt buckle here. It's not your typical belt buckle. So the great thing about this belt buckle is that it's actually not your typical snap one. It's magnetic. So it's only way to open it is one directional is to actually slide this piece up and slide the bottom one down and it slides right off, which is super convenient when you want to take it off and you're still holding your child. Um, I found it super helpful and I actually have not had any issues of it um, disconnecting by itself. One of the cool things about this buckle is that while taking it off, you have to slide it up motion. To put it back, you just let it go and it just snaps right back into place. My only regret about this fanny pack is that sometimes I wonder if I would have liked the brown whiskey color better. But overall, I've been pretty happy with the dance fanny. As I previously mentioned about the wipes, if you actually don't have any of these sample ones left, which um, many of you guys might not by now, is that you can purchase these wipe holders here and they fit perfectly into the bag as well. So you just take some wipes from your regular um, wipes when you buy the larger packs and you just kind of put them up in here, just close them up and then they'll just fit nicely into the bag as well. All right, if you've been searching for a fanny pack diaper bag, chances are you've come across one that's called Kibu, or at least I think that's how it's pronounced. On paper, it looks like the perfect fanny pack. It was designed specifically to be a diaper bag. It has a waterproof pocket that can hold either wipes or a soiled onesie. It even has a built-in changing pad that can be detached. Sounds like the perfect fanny pack diaper bag, doesn't it? My sister-in-law actually bought one and she didn't really like it. She ended up selling it. Before she sold it though, she lent it to my wife to see if she wanted to try and my wife didn't like it. Then I took a look over it and thought the idea was great, but then it just missed the mark. One of the things the Kibu is constantly advertised for is that it's deliberately minimal, but I found it to be oddly bulky when using it. I'm fairly sure this is because of the built-in changing pad. The changing pad is a great idea for a younger baby, but it's not really needed once your baby starts to learn how to walk. Once they start to walk, most toddlers don't like to be laid down to change their diapers anymore. We've had much more success once we started implementing standing to change diapers. Definitely takes a while to get used to, but give it a try you find yourself wrestling with your child every time you're trying to change diaper. The other complaint I have is that the single large compartment doesn't have enough pockets. It's just one single large opening with no way to organize the things inside. I really think that a diaper divider is the key to keeping things neat and easy to find. This brings us to what I think is the main thing to look for in a fanny pack if you want to use it as a diaper bag. It may seem like most fanny packs can be used as a diaper bag, but that's not quite true. When picking a fanny pack, one of the main things you're going to want to look for is the size. While some packs may look very nice and fashionable, they might be too small to fit all the essentials. One example of this is Hap's fanny pack. The color and the design looks great, but the inside is a bit too small. This is the fanny pack that my wife used before she switched over to the Mina Bay. You barely have enough room for diapers, wipes, a wallet, and your phone. If you need to carry anything else in here, good luck trying to fit it. While the idea of ditching our large diaper bags and opting for a fanny pack instead is to keep things small as well as give our shoulders a break, the smallest bags aren't necessarily the best. So before you take the plunge and buy a fanny pack, take a moment to consider what are your essentials that you need to bring along. Will those items easily fit into the fanny pack you're eyeing? If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing for more baby toddler related content like this video. Hit the thumbs up if you learned something or you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you next time.